Which you guys got another video here for you. What happens if you never do Windows updates? That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, a lot of people talk about Windows XP and Windows 7 and how they're still using it today. And of course, without security updates or updates from Microsoft, you are seriously vulnerable. Now, we all know that Windows 10 is coming to end of life in October 2025. But what does that mean for you? Can you continue to use it? without security updates. That's what we'll talk about. So first off, if you never do a Windows update, your computer becomes increasingly vulnerable to security threats. It misses out on important bug fixes and performance improvements, and it may eventually become incompatible with uh, newer software due to the outdated features and security protocols, potentially leaving your system significantly less uh, stable and reliable. So before we go into great detail about security updates and the importance of Windows updates, let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the link in the video description. They will take you to the CD Key Sales website. You can then create yourself an account and then you can purchase your product here and use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases. Once you've chosen your product and you submit your order, they will send you your key. You can use that key to either activate Windows like you see on the screen, or you can use it to upgrade from Windows 10 Home or Windows 11 Home to Pro versions. Okay, so let's talk about end of support for Windows 10. So we all know that Windows 10 reaches end of life on October 14th, 2025. So what does that mean? Well, that just means that you will receive no more Windows updates or technical assistance or anything like that, security fixes for Windows 10. We will talk about some options later on, but what does that mean for you if you have a computer that doesn't reach the system requirements that Microsoft have in place to allow you to upgrade to Windows 11? You may be forced or may be thinking about using Windows 10 without security updates. And you may get some people in the comments section saying they're using Windows XP and even Windows 7 without security updates. And that's like driving a car without any sort of uh, seatbelt and hoping nothing ever happens to you. Because one day you could hit something and it could be a fatal injury that you receive because you have no seatbelt on. But the thing is, at the end of the day, security risks are pretty serious. And the most critical issue is that you'll be exposed to known security vulnerabilities, making your computer an easier target for hackers and malware to get on the system. This is a real big issue. So also without Windows updates, you're going to miss out on bug fixes. Now, bug fixes are often updates that include patches for software bugs that can cause major crashes, glitches, or any other performance issues you might be getting with your PC. So these are what are generally patched by Windows updates. And you only have to go to Windows 10 updates history page to see how many updates Microsoft have pushed out. Now remember, Microsoft have been updating Windows 10 for many years. And again, once you just turn the tap off and stop these updates, that means a lot of these uh, issues that might come up in the future just not going to be patched so for people to sit there and brazenly say you know they're using windows xp or windows 7 without any sort of updates and trying to make out everything is okay it's not you are vulnerable and you definitely don't want to be using an operating system online and being connected to the internet without any form of security updates if you go through a lot of these, you will know that a lot of these are severe security updates that need to be put onto the system to patch it. And a lot of these are getting rolled out on a regular basis by Microsoft. And it's not just, uh, you know, the updates for Windows itself. It's driver updates for the actual hardware you're using. These will not ever be updated anymore once the operating system reaches end of life. Another major issue is software updates uh, to your software are just not going to happen anymore that means companies that make apps or software for your pc will drop support for windows 10 because they're not going to be 
wasting all their energy on Windows 10 when it's already reached end of life. This might not happen straight away, but it might happen over the next up and coming months. And as the months go on, your PC will become even more vulnerable over time because it's not being patched. And this is a real big concern if your software is not getting updated, your browser then becomes outdated. And you've only got to look also on Wikipedia's website and you can see how many versions of Windows 10 have been released. It started off with 1507, 1511, 1607, 1703, 1709, 1803, 1809, 1903, 1909, 1903, 1909, 2004, 20H2, 21H1 and 21H2 and 22H2. You can already see that is going to be the very last version that you're going to receive. So without updating your system, it is going to become very vulnerable very quickly. And once Microsoft completely stop updating uh, Windows 10, once it reaches end of life, it will just get very old very, very quickly. A lot of software will become outdated because they will stop updating that software. And again, you'll get driver updates getting behind and also bug fixes, patch fixes, and also security fixes will just completely stop for that operating system. And if you're using that computer like a lot of people do for banking online or storing sensitive information like photos or other stuff, and you're just generally signing into a lot of places online, then that becomes very, very vulnerable, especially if you're using a outdated browser or maybe uh, your antivirus program is not getting updated anymore because uh, it's obsolete and they just don't release any sort of updated software anymore. Now, that being said, some companies do hang on for a while and they will still supply a browser for a little while longer, but how much longer? This is the thing. Once it gets past another year, then you're becoming very vulnerable because obviously all, all support will stop then. The extended support that Microsoft are offering for another year for $30 will then stop and they probably won't offer any more after that and that will be it. And the longer you use that operating system without any sort of updates, eventually software companies do pull the plug on releasing updates for that uh, operating system because it's end of life. Just like Windows XP, a lot of stuff that you use on Windows XP is completely obsolete. It's not getting updated anymore and it leaves you very vulnerable to attack. Same thing for Windows 7 and Windows Vista. So let's quickly cover the options you might have available quickly. I have covered this before, but I'm going to go over it again quickly here. $30 for another year, an extended year, which is what Microsoft are offering for Windows 10 users. If you give $30, you will get another year of support for Windows 10. Now, they could extend this even longer for another year after that for another $30 or make it $60. I really don't know. But at the moment, it's just one year extended. That will give you an extra one year uh, for $30. It's probably the cheapest and best option available to you other than Zero Patch, which is another option. And this will be for a number of years after uh, that as well. So after Windows 10, if they don't do any more updates after one year for $30, you can then use something like Zero Patch after that to extend it a bit longer. It's not as good as uh, Microsoft's updates, but at least you're getting some form of patching to that operating system. And because Microsoft have a closed operating system, it makes it very, very difficult to patch properly. Another option is to use something like Linux Mint, which is also a, a different operating system altogether. But again, this is going to be receiving updates, which is a much better option for you rather than using an operating system that doesn't have any updates whatsoever. And it doesn't matter what operating system it is, whether it be Mac or whether it be Windows or whether it be Linux, they all need updates because they all become vulnerable and they all have vulnerabilities in them and they have to be constantly patched and updated on a regular basis. So you can't avoid it. So they are basically your options and that is basically the reason why you need security updates and that is the reason why you should never use an operating system without security updates unless it's offline. Now, I know that's probably not what a lot of people want to hear, but that is the actual truth of it. A lot of people are spreading misinformation out on the Internet about saying that you can use Windows 10 without security updates. You'll be perfectly fine. And that's absolute nonsense. It really is. 
especially when there's other options available to you. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.